First of all, I have an important message. This is my first YouTube video where I will talk completely in English. English is not my native language, so I hope everything's uh, going to be understandable for all of you. A lot of people ask me if I want to make a tutorial on how I make those hexagon wall art things. Um, so here it is. And because there are a lot of people from other countries than Belgium, uh, I will do it in English. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel, welcome in this new video. My name is Kevin and today I will show you a tutorial on Fusion 360 and how I made those hexagon files with Pokemons. You can do it with other things, you can do a logo, you can do a brand, beer brand or a sports brand. But this will be the basics uh, from starting from scratch and making your own stuff uh, that you want in Fusion 360. If you never used Fusion 360 before and you don't have it as software on your computer, you can download it for free. Uh, I also been asked a lot where I can find it for free. It's very simple. You go to Google, you search on Google Autodesk personal use. The first thing you see, you click on it and from there you can download it and use it for free uh, for personal use. So for making stuff for your own. If you never used Fusion 360 before and uh, you want to learn on YouTube you had a lot of tutorials on how to make things with the basics um, I also learned it with YouTube and I'm sure there are other ways than I used to make some stuff but that's the way I find that's the easiest way for me okay let's start first I'm gonna show you how my file looks like in um, in fusion you will see I'm a little bit uh, not organized but it works for me so that's good how you work in fusion 360 that's your own thing uh, that's my way I do you can see we have, we have here a lot of bodies uh, we have the and we have a lot of sketches all my sketches are other characters I made in the past um, and like you see here we have Mickey Mouse we have uh, Stitch but that's the way how I work and I I'm okay with it we're gonna do we're gonna uh, press on the plus for have a new tab we have a new tab and we're gonna start to create a sketch by pressing on the plus on the green plus here on the left side and we have to choose our plane we're gonna choose our X plane so the red one and that's this one below this is the X plane and then we have to make our shape or, or hexagon shape if you want to make another shape it's possible you want to make a circle or you want to make a square that's all possible or a triangle that's your own thing you want to do uh, but for this video we're gonna make a polygon or a hexagon shape you can choose for a circumscribed polygon or an inscribed polygon we're gonna choose for the circumscribed polygon but if you do the other one it's the same but uh, okay we click on the middle then you can see we can make the shape bigger I want it approximately 15 centimeters uh, or 150 millimeters then we have just to press because it's up we are at a half here so we press 75 and I think that's going to be okay and we press enter what we know gonna do is an offset we click on the uh, the sides and we press on O, the O of offset. You will see there's a little pop-up going on and here on the left side you can see uh, that one is uh, one millimeter is made so we have here one millimeter. By pressing minus one I'm gonna do the offset on the inside of the shape. Press OK and then we are our offset set. Okay now we have our shape. Next thing we have to do is have a um, a character a logo or something else if you want to do a Pokemon or you want to do a Disney character or a brand uh, you can do what you want uh, the easiest way to do it you can just go on Google and search for a vector uh, for this now I will do a um, pokeball because that's the easiest way to do it um, it's faster and easier to show it to you because it's very basic and trying with other uh, characters you will see characters from uh, Pokemon are difficult the difficultness is uh, bigger um, but I will show you something um, that is difficult you will see here 
um, like here with the stitch you see I have draw uh, I've draw a uh, extra line here because that shape wasn't closed though no it's closed if the line was not there uh, everything is going to be the same color uh, also we have it it's quarter you see the eye I make I draw a line myself um, in the sketch for closing this otherwise everything here will be the same color uh, when printing also here I made some uh, extra drawings but that's a uh, something you got you got to learn it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up uh, doing of uh, you learn it by doing it I will show you here uh, an example of a stitch I uh, think it's this one you see here uh, stitch had a lot of that the the SVG that's not good uh, been taken over and then you have all those little folds you have to um, erase or make it again uh, draw it again so that's not a really good uh, example for doing it but that's why I do the pokeball important thing um, what we have to do we search a good vector I always type the name with a vector at the back so we have good drawings I found this one I think this will be good enough and I use a website I love to use this website it's very easy it's vectorization.org and this website is very simple you insert the file is a JPEG or a PNG file you upload it and we're gonna choose the pokeball that's this one and just click on start you will see it takes a little and then we have our vector is, uh, is correct and we can just download it by clicking on the blue letters and once it downloaded you can insert it in Fusion 360 by clicking here on the insert insert SVG insert for my computer and then we click on the file the SVG file and here is our pokeball we can resize it by moving this like that and then we can make it as big as you want and I think this is the center okay it's good enough for me and then just press ok for insert SVG and we can close our sketch by clicking on finish sketch we'll see we have our sketches here that's this one next step is to extrude the file we're gonna select the complete file of the complete sketch press E for extrude like I said a lot of shortcuts we have to use and the easiest way is the shortcut to work with you have two choices you can pull on the arrow that's uh, 50 millimeters uh, we're gonna work on 50 millimeters or you can uh, just type it in here like this press enter now we have our 3D hexagon shape that's really basic for Fusion 360 next we're gonna do is you're gonna see there is a new thing added bodies that is your body if you click on the eye the body is gone we're gonna unselect body but select sketch again and we're gonna zoom in and click on the inside of the sides we are making with our offset before and we're gonna do the same press E but here we're gonna do 15 dot six millimeters we're gonna reselect our body but because our body is gone we reselect our body you will see it's red red is not good red is cutting on our pop extrude pop-up we can choose here for joining and then you will see it's come gray again press ok and you have one shape this is one shape you can if you do uh, like this I'm gonna show you uh, as new body this is gonna be two different bodies for this is not important but if you are making a, a model with different shapes and stuff and you want to print it uh, apart or for multicolor printing it is also always easy uh, you can do it like this but we're gonna work with one body because that's the easiest way for this because we're not gonna color it afterwards uh, and why I and why I choose for 15.6 millimeters it's because we're gonna print in layers of 0.2 millimeters so we're gonna see this is gonna be 15 millimeters printing normal and then this one print three layers because we want to make those layers another color because that's just 
nicer to to look at it but you will see it uh, later here okay next we're gonna do unselect back body and then we're gonna choose what colors we want we're gonna work in layers because these models are printable on all kinds of printers of course it's easier to print it on uh, printers with an ams uh, otherwise you have to do color changes at the correct layer heights okay next we're gonna do the side of a pokeball we're gonna look for the pokeball is black so i always start with black um, and always these things so what we're gonna do is press uh, shift to select it also select this one and again we're gonna press e for extrude and we do it at the same height of the first uh, three layers we have so 15.6 and press enter but like you see i was wrong uh, and then we press here on our timeline and again do edit feature and we have to do uh, join but we have to click on our body again and press ok so that again is a one body is one shape okay the next we're gonna do we need three colors for this uh, model so if you wanna check our drawing I check always rank for the colors are correct. I do it always also for the other characters. I do checking the colors are correct. Now we have the top side is red, the middle side is white, and the uh, below side is also white. So I think maybe for this one we can choose to have the the white as last color and the red as second color. So um, we will do the red two layers extra. So we press here, we will click here, do extrude. Our um, extrude from before was uh, 15.6. Uh, now we have to add extra three layers, so we're gonna be at 16.2. Uh, uh, because 15.6 plus 0 0.6 is 16.2. That's uh, logic. We do it again, new body, no, no new body, we're gonna, sorry, join, press body here, and you see, press OK to finish it, and you see here we have a higher layer. OK, and then the last one we have to do, it's the white, uh, and that's this, I think, if I'm not wrong. Uh, otherwise oh, we have also white here this is white and again we do extrude for the last three layers so we have 16.2 uh, before so no with six of uh, dot six extra it's 16.8 join don't forget to press join and we click on the body and press ok Okay, this is correct. You can do it. Otherwise, you can do it on the. Uh, you can do it another way. Uh, that's like you want. But always, in my things, I always work with the blacks uh, on the first three layers. I do it for the depth because the depth is it's it's nice. You see the eyes coming better out like here. We are ready for this. Uh, what now we're gonna do is press uh, go into our body here um, and click right click. That's the easiest way. Save mesh. Um, you can also uh, save them in OBG uh, or other files uh, if you want a higher quality, but this is good enough. Press OK. And we're gonna call it uh, Pokehex. I always call them like this. Save. And what we now gonna do uh, is slicing it. I'm gonna show you how to slice it in Bamboo Studio. It's the same in Orca. I think the things in um, Prusa Slicer are just the same to do, but it's on another place for searching. But I'm gonna show it in uh, Bamboo Studio uh, because it's the easiest way for me for showing. Uh, we're gonna add our file Pokex to the printer, to the plate. You see, it's. Um, black now if you want it red uh, just press the color you want um, this is your own choice how to print it or what color you want to print it but I will do it like this um, what we're gonna do we're gonna tour we go to our object tab um, you right click on the object and then you go to height range modifier 
this will uh, that's an option that's possible to change a certain um, if you want to change something on a precise layer uh, make it stronger on that layer or uh, make it weaker on that layer um, you can do it here um, as we know our file is 15 millimeters so we have to go to this click on it see 15 millimeters and what we're going to change also for having the open top layer uh, like this we go into quality no oh, sorry strength i was a little too fast we set top shell layers at zero and then the infill you can choose the coolest infill i found is the uh, the octogram spiral and when we slice this will happen as you see we have an open top layer but the other layers that are on top of the top layer are still closed if i don't do this i'm gonna show you if we don't do this and slice it with the open top layers uh, set here at zero i'm gonna show you i'm gonna see that all the tops are open that's not what we want so we're gonna do it uh, back at like normal but in our object tab right click oh yeah you have to do the prepare tab right click height range modifier set it to 15 millimeters change the top layers to zero and change also the uh, infill you can do uh, the shorts I have problems on my P1 P2 printed like this, but on the A1 it worked fine. But I love a very hard the octogram spire because it gives the cool effect. So we have the open top layers. Okay, the next thing we have to do is a uh, the color swaps for our uh, model. That's really easy to do. First, we're gonna slice the model. I'm gonna see everything is red. That's not okay. Uh, as we know, in Fusion 360, we make this first uh, object, the first uh, body. We made it 15 millimeters. So we're gonna add our first uh, color change at this point. I always want that my sides and the, the outsides of my drawings are uh, black so I always uh, do black here and what we're gonna do is the first we're gonna change to change filament to black I will start for showing you and that's the result we have from now on like you know in Fusion 360 we made the first side here three layers high but because we have the uh, the modifier inserted here it starts at 15 so we have to go to 15.8 for the first uh, color swap and we're going to swap it again to red and when we slice you will see the sides are black this is black and always this but again after three layers so we have 16.2 i have if I'm not wrong, we're going to white, I think. I think I was too fast. Uh, no. We're going to 16.4, sorry. And then we have to change it to white. And normally this is going to be okay when I slice. Yeah, here it is. So this is our Pokeball or Hexagon. And then the thing you have to do is just print it and um, have fun with it. Make more and... Uh, it's really that easy. I hope to see all of you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go check my Instagram, my TikTok, uh, and I see you later. Bye.